Number five asks us to pick the best method to solve the system of equations and to use the drag and drop options to complete the ordered pair solution. If the system has no solution, we'll put no in the first box and solutions in the last box. And if the system has infinitely many solutions, we'll put infinitely many in the first box and solutions in the last box. First though, we need to pick the best method to solve. We just talked about that with question number four on the quiz review. Remember that for graphing, they both need to be in the form y equal mx plus b, which isn't the case here in number five. For substitution, one of the equations needs to have x or y by itself. Neither of these equations is x equal or y equal, which means substitution will not work. The best method to use here on this problem for number five is going to be elimination. And now that we know it's elimination, remember that with elimination, you need to get the x or the y to be opposites. Let's start with x and see if it's convenient to make those opposites. We have four and we have eight. Well, remember, look at the smaller number, it's four. Think about, is there a number you can multiply four by to make it eight? Well, four times two is eight. But now remember that with opposites, if this second equation is a positive eight, I want my first equation to be a negative eight. To do that, we can take the first equation and multiply by negative two. Let's go ahead and do that. Remember, all three numbers get multiplied by negative two. Negative two times four x makes negative eight x. Negative two times nine y is negative 18 y. And negative two times negative 23 is positive 46. Feel free to use a calculator if you need to. The second equation I'm gonna keep it the same because I just made my variables opposites. Notice how the x's now are opposites. When we go ahead and we add these two equations together, negative 8x and positive 8x eliminate. Negative 18 plus 8 is negative 10y. And 46 plus negative 16 would be 30. Now we're one step away. If we just divide by negative 10 to each side, we end up with y equal negative 3, which is the first part of our answer. To finish it up now, we need to find the second value. We need to find x. You can choose either of the two original equations. Pick whichever one looks easiest to you. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick the second equation, 8x plus 8y. Well, we just found y was negative 3. So 8x plus 8 times negative 3 should equal negative 16. Then you just crunch the numbers. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. So 8x minus 24 equals negative 16. And now let's get rid of that minus 24 by adding 24 on each side, like that. Now we have 8x equals 8, and we're one step away. Just divide by 8 to each side, and we get x equal 1. Now when you type your answer in on Schoology, well actually you're going to drag and drop your answer, you'll want to make sure that you put the x value in the first box and the y value in the second box. You'll drag the one into this first box here, and you'll drag the negative three into the second box here. You should double check your answer just by plugging those points back in, and you'll find that it does work with both equations.